Let's have fun. Go. Since you, Lisa, you brought us such oh. terrible weather. Yeah. Your punishment is a story oh. about somebody from UCLA. <laughs> yes. How dare you? Yes. Kinsey, let's give it back to her, shall we? Yes. All right. Uh, this is Melanie Barboni. Uh, she's an assistant researcher of Earth, Planetary, and Space Sciences at UCLA. Okay. Here we but go. she's also known as the Hummingbird Whisperer what? on campus. She has 200-plus hummingbirds oh my. Oh, that she oh, feeds yes. every day, oh and they come up to that her window. That sounds like a cookie collection. It kind of <laughs> does. Look at this. Once again, that's at UCLA. Uh, yeah, they collect hummingbirds. Uh -huh. <laughs> you collect championships, they collect hummingbirds? Is that what you're trying to say? Neat. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, so she's getting quite famous on campus uh, for her wow. hummingbird collection. Oh, do you want it bigger? Make it bigger, yeah. Cute. That. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh, looky! Oh. Hello. Oh. She's got 200 plus. I've got about 10, and I freak out every time I see them. But. They come out. Uh, we get one or two who come around, and I love. We'll just be sitting there, and they can just come right up to your face. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then they, you, they, yeah. they're gone. And they come right up to you. They're so brave. Yeah, mine Great will come down there and go, hey, what are you doing? What's going What's on? What's up? Today? Buttercup? Talk? When's you the guys sugary have really special hummingbirds if they're actually talking to you. <laughs> so they awesome. don't talk to you, Kins. Um, I guess I'm not that special. They just come right up and just investigate. Our uh, alert viewer, Roxy Poole, yeah. she can make the noise and they'll come up and land in her hand. Come on. She's named them. Emerald, Marshmallow, <gasps> Comet, Stromboli, mm -hmm. Stardust, mm -hmm. Zircon, Milky Way, Galutus, oh, cute. Tiny. Wow. Shy, 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 sparkling. sparkling. Oh, that's good. That's it's only a five and a half hour long show. She's got 200 plus. I don't know if you want to keep this game going. Tina has a hummingbird um, that visit her, visits her backyard, and she named him Angelo. Angelo. Oh. She's assuming it's a him. Hmm. Now, the thing is, if you're going to have uh, a feeder in your backyard, you got to keep it up because they become dependent on that, hmm. right? They'll oh. come back around all the time. So if you're going to commit, you got to commit. Yeah. They'll so, let you know, though. Let, yeah. They will you, let you know. I wonder if they come and peck out your forehead. Yeah, I, I'll step outside if we haven't changed the fever, you know, feeders fast enough for them. They'll come out and like, bzz, bzz, bzz. they'll get right in my face. Mm -hmm. Go tell that crazy lady inside your house to go make us some more sugar right? water. <laughs> oh, they're oh, beautiful. Cute. They're just beautiful. Yeah. Oh neat. There you go. Well, way to go. The UCLA. Yeah. Hummingbird <laughs> whisperer of UCLA. <laughs> UCLA. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Those are cute. Got on tape where a couple of uh, hippos saved a wildebeest from the jaws of a crocodile.